Hello friends, uh, this is Amit Kumar and I welcome to my channel Prince Tech Solution. So today's topic is uh, ClickSense Data Visualization. So I will give you uh, the uh, overview of ClickSense Data Visualization tool today and uh, you'll be able to know that what the ClickSense is all about, uh, how to make a connectivity to database, uh, what are the features of Click, uh, ClickSense, what are its competitor, why uh, ClickSense is uh, you know uh, required and what the uh, you know uh, universal or unique selling part of the ClickSense. So let's see why ClickSense. Why not ClickQ? Why not uh, Bike Strategy? Why not uh, Tableau? Or why not any other BI tool? So in this agenda, you will see uh, the basics of the ClickSense why ClickSense is required and the more feature in the product portfolio of ClickSense. So ClickSense is basically a business discovery platform which is used for a BI analysis and reporting. Okay. So uh, ClickSense is a revolutionary uh, product. It is the next generation product of ClickQ. Earlier it was a, a, a uh, you know, uh, it is uh, owned by uh, ClickTech International uh, AB, which is the company name. The first product of ClickTech is ClickView, and uh, ClickSense is the next generation product, which is come up with uh, some more added features, some more added visualization, some more lightweight and uh, you know uh, lightweight features, and the more easier for, uh, options to create. Uh, dashboard very easily so even it is much more easier than click you can see so to learn a click sense the prerequisites is to uh, the, uh, the one who uh, is uh, you know uh, new to click sense he must have uh, learned a click you earlier so that it would be easy to understand so I would recommend uh, the students to go with the click my click you videos before to come with the click sense Okay, now there are other BA tools in the market also as you can uh, see in the screen there is Cognos, there is SAP BU, BA, Tipco Spotfire, MicroStrategy, MSBA. But as why we have taken uh, ClickSense into consideration. What are the unique selling part of ClickSense here? So let's have a look into it. Why ClickSense? It has in-memory analysis. It is a very simple answer. Now, what is in memory? As the name, uh, the, the as the name is self-explanatory, in memory analysis is something which is done inside, for which we don't uh, need to uh, go outside to connect the data. So, ClickSense has its uh, in memory analysis. That means the kind of buffer which processes the huge volume of data by bringing the data from the external data sources to its in memory buffer and process the data from there only. So as a result, the performance of ClickSense is extremely faster as compared to other BA tool which do not process in-memory analysis. Okay? Though it has some you know, flat file data sources, however, while getting the data from the flat file data sources also, ClickSense put the data into in-memory in and throughout the analysis, you will be getting the data from the in-memory only. That means in the ClickSense front end only. Dashboard and detail analysis. You can create beautiful visualized dashboards. You can go for a drill down analysis. You can go for detailed analysis. So it is too much easier to uh, create visualizations. You can create presentations. You can uh, use uh, multimedia. So you can play videos in the ClickSense dashboard, which was not possible in ClickQ earlier. You can have a, a map analysis here, uh, which uh, was in ClickQ. You. you were supposed to add some add-ons, whereas those are all uh, built in the ClickSense. So build your own BI system, build your own BI solutions, make reporting, make better visualizations, make better decisions. Collaboration and mobility here is a new feature in uh, ClickSense. So we have a ClickSense cloud which is basically <coughs> excuse me 
So collaboration is a ClickSense cloud platform. There's a feature called Click uh, Cloud. So multiple users can log into this and can uh, you know uh, uh, access to this uh, ClickSense dashboard uh, centrally, and they can also use some common practices, common business practices. And mobility is something like you know after you deploy the dashboard into ClickSense Cloud, anyone can access to your dashboard with the having the credentials, login credentials to your dashboard, and they can browse your dashboard in the mobile mobile devices. So uh, as you guys have, uh, I can just pretend that you guys have known the Click user. That's a, that's why you're just coming to ClickSense. So let me just take you to a short tour of the comparison of click view with a click sense let's see so on the left side i have click view on the right side i have click sense click view has rich features high interactiveness large knowledge base there's a click community which shows the large knowledge base high customizable controls and objects whereas click sense is easy for ad hoc analysis you can simply simply drag and drop you have a very less property to interact with even a layman, uh, uh, even a non-technical user can easily deal with the ClickSense, which was difficult in case of ClickView. Collaboration, which was not there in ClickSense, that means multiple users can concurrently log into a ClickSense cloud and they can work together. Okay. Storylining, that is storytelling, is also a, a beautiful feature here. Uh, you can have a multiple uh, storytelling like um, you know when you're scrolling right side you should show some trains and storytelling here mobile uh, 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 click mobile clicks mobile is also there which is also a collaborative platform fast and cheap development okay so which was difficult for a person to in, in uh, uh, click you it, it is much more time faster than uh, in, um, faster to create a reporting in clicks and the common feature which uses by this both of these uh, revolutionary tools is the community, uh, the basically the user base, the community and the forums. Scripting, both of the scripting we use as the data, same database scripting. QVD, which is click view data file, is also consumed by both of these technologies as a data source. So ClickSense, as I said, it's a revolutionary uh, and a new generational, uh, new generation uh, data visualization tool. ClickSense uh, is the next generation uh, self-service data visualization application that empower people to easily create a range of flexible interactive visualization that drives exploration and discovery using one intuition. So whatever you uh, you know. Uh, plan to uh, have a report in ClickSense, whatever is your intuition is that all can be captured. So it is uh, useful for everyone, for individual, for a group, for organizations. So it is, uh, uh, you can build the best, best practices of uh, using a click libraries uh, with this click environment. So QDF is basically a click deployment uh, framework which is uh, a common platform where we can deploy the dashboard and can be accessed with multiple devices. That's what it is uh, here also. Now we will see how to organize the ETL practices and how to proceed with the ClickSense development. First of all at the time of development you will be provided the various set of data, data sets. Maybe it is a ERP, maybe Oracle, maybe uh, Hadoop or SQL Server. Now uh, you have to use QVW. QVW is Click Through Workbook to build to build a QVD file. So to create a QVD file, uh, which is going to be a, a source of the ClickSense, you have to use QVW. That is Click Through Workbook. You must have Click Through also with you when you are using a ClickSense. Now for extraction you are just connected to data set through QVW uh, file and create the QVD files. So there are a script called select star from table and then store into table name dot QVD 
that is what the script to create the QVD file. Now this is the first step of data extraction. Then in the ex data modeling or the data transformations, so you have to load all those QVDs into the QVW editor to transform those data. To join those table to form a schema, to form a schema like star schema, snowflake schema or any general schema. So you need to use the QVD as well. And the third presentation can be in both the sources or the both the tools. It can be in QVW uh, or it can be in ClickSense tools. So ClickSense is mostly focused on the visualization side from the extraction side we use the same legacy system that is your click view. So we will have two different file formats one is QVW the second one is QVF. Okay. So QVF is basically your uh, click sense whereas QVW is file is click view. Now the project structure can be in this way you would have the different folder structures and the application file which will be uh, your uh, main source of user uh, or main uh, presentation layer that is used by either ClickView or ClickSense. So ClickSense is mostly used for a presentation and for visualization. So first of all what you used to do, you use data extraction through ClickView data transformation for joining the tables and forming the schemas through click view again then building you can build an app in uh, click view build an app to in click view then the finally you can also use a click sense the same type of application you use in click view you can use click sense but the source you can use maybe a qvd or maybe a qvw file which would be your data source which can be loaded as a binary layer okay so uh, after, uh, at the end I would suggest whatever the explanation I am doing this is not for the purely uh, not for the fresher who is only uh, belongs to click sense it is recommended uh, for the one who uh, is uh, not new to click you you must know the click you to learn click sense so the summary is it is a business discovery platform, it is self-service driven, it is associative experience uh, and dashboard in detail analysis is user friendly, multi-source platform and so on so on. So thank you so much from the ClickSense overview side. I'll just take it to uh, uh, the ClickSense discovery, data discovery platform to create a small application so that you would know that how the ClickSense application works. I can connect to database or else I can also connect to my click view application. Say I do have a couple of click view applications. This is uh, one of the application I do have um, here. Okay, so this is my uh, click queue and this is my click sense. So I can directly use a click sense data model in click uh, click queue data model in click sense to create a visualization. This is my click view data model. I have loaded uh, the tables uh, from QVD and you can see there are a couple of uh, data uh, tables are available. So this is the data table which I have used for reporting in click view. I can also use the same data model in ClickSense. So let's see, uh, let's uh, make a quick tour on this. I'll just use this path to load this click view data model into the click sense. So create a new app. I'll just use the app name is my create. 
So this my f- uh, first click since app is created successfully. Open the app. Okay. Now it's time to add the data or go for the data load editor. data load editor this is the editor where you can load the data either you can load a uh, excel file you can load a uh, uh, qvw file you can load qvd file you can do anything here so uh, i can use a new connection to create a data uh, database connectivity okay so first of all you have to use create new connection Uh, it's taking a little time to load this layer okay create a new connection to uh, any of the database you want if you want to load an excel file if you want to load a, a kvw file or if you want to load anything so let's say i will just load an excel file Let's not use a, uh, you know, click you file first of all. I'll just use a Excel file. This is my folder. So you have various options. If you are connecting to SQL Server, you can choose ODBC or OLDB. If you are connecting to Excel, you can use a folder. So now choose the folder and then just go to this path here. Mm. I have to choose this path. instead of this c i'll use e drive what is my drive name is it is h okay inside the h drive i have this uh, folders i can go to this one i can go to this one and then i can come here and then sample data set i have various excel files here I will just use one Excel file. This is a product DB Excel SX, and this is the data set name I have to give. This is the product DB, and the name is okay. So now select the data from that particular folder. The connection is set up to a particular folder now. Now I can then load a particular database. Okay, from all type of table, I can use XML, I can use KML, I can use CSV or click you file QVD or QVW. So I just choose this one, then select this. It's an Excel file. I could connect to my ClickSense. So when you make a connection, it will just connect to your folder, and then that folder is saved here. so i just could connect to my um, click sense with the excel database okay so this is excel i have first table is uh, customer master then i will also use product master transaction master there are three tables which is uh, you know uh, half the common uh, key fields which is suffice for me to connect and this is excel and the field names are embedded field names you can choose this one okay now insert scripts now the script is uh, created and as i said you need to know a little bit of uh, 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 your uh, sql knowledge or uh, uh, click your knowledge to join these three tables now this first table is a uh, customer master i will just name it as customer master uh, uh this is basically the alias to uh, give the table names and the transaction okay so you can just save this now and load the data before you do anything you can just show the debug panel and then load data so debug panel will debug your data set so it will make sure there is there is no uh, error found so the web panel is done and then load data 
when the data loading will be succeeded it should so there is no problem at all now you can go back to the visualization and work with your uh, visualization layer okay so we were there in the data model viewer let's see how the data model is looks like after the joining of these tables three tables i have connected to three tables i must be three tables in my data model viewer yeah here we go i could connect to three database tables and these three tables are perfectly connected to each other so this is the data model uh, viewer which will help me to see my data uh, model and the tables visually connected to each other okay so uh, up to this uh, it was all about the click queue or demonstration and um, um, how I, I just showed you how to connect with the data scene and how to create a small data model so thank you so much in my upcoming video i'll be able to show you how to visualize this data and the different different uh, beautiful objects like bar chart pie chart um, bubble chart and so on thank you so much if you like my video please like and subscribe bye bye